Hi everyone, Chef PD back again. So today I want to share with you one of my favorite fish recipes. It's the honey soy salmon stir fry recipe. And if you like salmon as much as I do, you'll love this recipe. It's super simple and there's not a lot of prep time involved. So if you have not done so, please like and subscribe and share for more future videos. You ready? Let's get started. All right, ingredients we need for today. I have 13 ounces of the fresh coho salmon. You could use any salmon you like. Uh, there's like diff six different varieties. Uh, coho is a little bit of a milder flavor to it, a little bit better to me. Uh, half an onion, uh, half a green pepper, half a red pepper, six ounces of the white button mushrooms. Then I have two cloves of garlic, uh, a quarter cup of the light soy sauce, and I tend to like the uh, the Pearl River Bridge brand. It's just uh, my favorite. Uh, two tablespoons of honey, one teaspoon of cornstarch, uh, a quarter teaspoon of sesame oil, a quarter teaspoon of the um, white pepper powder, and I got two of the hot uh, Thai chili pepper. Uh, if you don't like it hot, uh, you know, you can, this is purely optional. You don't have to put in any oil. Uh, if you don't have the th a Thai chili pepper, you could use any of the chili oil or um, chili paste and add as much as you like. And then also we, I have canola oil. You can also use olive oil uh, in a, instead. Okay, so let's uh, get prepping. Okay, first thing you think you're going to do is you're going to remove the skin, which I've done already. And then we're going to cut these up into uh, one inch cubes. I'm just going to put it in the bowl because we're going to marinate it. So now we're gonna, what we're going to do is we're going to add the soy sauce. We're going to add the honey. White pepper powder. Sesame oil and cornstarch. I'm just going to mix it up. We're going to marinate this for 15 to 30 minutes and then, uh, then I'll start prepping the vegetable. Okay, I got my board cleaned up. I'm going to prep the vegetable now. I'm going to do half an onion. Pepper. 
functions. Finally the garlic. Ready to cook. All right, we're gonna get the wok heated up really hot here. Get some oil in here. And then with tongs, you're going to transfer the salmon onto the uh, hot wok. I like to use a tong. A pair of tongs would help retain the, uh, the marinade in here. So that we're going to use it later. We're going to let it cook for about five minutes.
All right, got the walk cleaned up. Get the fire burning here. Get a little oil on there. Let that heat up. marinate in there. now. Take a look. Yeah, once the vegetable is soft, that's all you need. Now we're going to add the uh, salmon back in. chili pepper out. Last time I didn't do that with one of my dishes and my wife had some and it did not turn out well. sample it. All right, my favorite part is sampling. Let's get a chunk of salmon. Oh yeah. Some pepper, some onions in here. Mmm. I wish you were here. Very 
tasty. That pan seared salmon really with flavors really coming through with that sesame oil and that soy sauce and that garlic is in here. Oh, mmm. Okay, I hope we get a chance to try it. And um, uh, the recipe is down below in the description box. And uh, you have any comments? Put it down. I'll get back to you. Alright, until the next time. See ya. Great, so a bunch of viewers are interested in buying these black t-shirts, Dragon House t-shirts. So if you're interested, uh, please email me at this address down here, right there. And uh, let me know what size and quantity you want. And then uh, we'll try to get some and uh, get them out to you.